five days with once and a half. Yeah. How you feeling? Yeah, pretty good. Just, yeah. um, I mean, running's weird. Like, who knows? It's, it's running. Like, you feel good, but yeah, at the end of the day, it's just the result on Sunday that matters, really. So, yeah, yeah. yeah feeling good. I think today's going to be a um, nice sort of workout. Like, I mean, it's nice to have a decent sized group. Yeah. I don't know how many guys we're doing eights, but it's, um, yeah, no, I love like rocking up and having that many guys that. And yeah. training is pretty... Um, At one of the best training locations in the world, arguably. Yeah, honestly. I mean, yeah. a bit foggy this morning, but yeah. that's cool. I was actually um, hoping running shirts off. I looked in the mirror yesterday and realised <laughs> how pasty I was. So, um, yeah. <laughs> so this is the last, uh, this is the last harder workout before oh. Valencia half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we might look at another race after that. We'll talk about that in the next yeah, episode. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it also comes down to uh, the half. Yep. I mean... Yep. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, same with what I was just saying, like, with running, it's, I think I'm in good shape, but, um, uh, I mean, hopefully sort of prove it at uh, Valencia and then can make a bit of a plan from there. Yeah. So what's the personal best? Uh, I ran 62.16 in um, December, Australia 2020. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I haven't raced, what have I done? I've done, done Gold Coast this year, which is sort of my first big half since then. Um, I came second to Brett. Um, yeah, it was, I mean that was fine, but it wasn't it wasn't as quick. It was pretty wet and stuff. We didn't really we didn't really push on. So I mean, this will be my first sort of half where I've really had a had a crack in a while. So yeah, hopefully bring the PB down. I think it's a little bit overdue, but yeah, yeah. See you again. Exactly. What's on today? Uh, yeah, ten by eight hundred. I mean, hopefully Clark doesn't make me float at three ten pace or whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that turned out to be a long workout, but I, I think I think it's just. Um, yeah, 800s and do whatever the whatever. hell you want between, really. Yeah. Um, okay. I mean, I, I kind of like that stuff because yeah. yeah, it sort of lets you, lets you relax a little bit. Five yeah. days before, would you hit, like, what sort of percentage of an effort would you do this workout five days before? Um, I mean, I guess... Or how would you, however you would grade it. Yeah, like, I guess yeah. the like, scientific yeah. thing would be you don't want to produce um, much if any lactic. Yeah, um, yeah so I, I guess the recovery is being pretty chill, like, allow you to get your heart rate down and Might yeah so you're not really at that at that threshold but mm. I don't know I guess um I mean I'm sort of like I, I mean I guess I have to look after myself in the workout but also it's it's um it's Clarky's group as well and so I'm not gonna like blast off the front or like <laughs> or like I don't know you know what I mean I'm gonna yeah. be respectful of, of those guys just yeah, for sure. the um uh to see what they want to do but yeah, yeah I think yeah hopefully if you guys roll around yeah okay yeah we'll what see. shoes do you warm up in in a workout like this uh these are the new Nova Blast which no. is super nice yeah um, turn to the side a little bit yeah yeah nice color so they're like, yeah. they're like really light um they're like 30 40 grams lighter than the last version yeah um higher stack and like a better foam as well so I mean I like them so far yeah I ordered the all white version um yeah which I'm glad I don't have today. They're sitting at home in Australia for when I get back. Oh, nice. um, so I'm looking forward to that. I've also um, got my other pair of uh, prototype uh, racing flats for the workout today. So, um, so we can't share them? Oh. We can. We'll have a look, we'll see. You we'll know see what, what I mean. Like, you, can, <laughs> you can zoom in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah I, just, I just want to, um, yeah, I haven't really done this kind of workout in them before. Um, and yeah. so I just want to see how they feel. Yeah. Give ASIC's feedback on that. Um, but, but yeah, head over to the group. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> We're listening to uh, for warm up Laurel Canyon. Yeah. Um, so it's a playlist based off uh, 1965, 1975 LA scene. So like the Eagles, Grand Parsons, uh, the Birds, Jackson Brown, uh, the Doors, I mean tons of those guys. Um, yeah, so like warm up to nice chill chill music. Um, the the workout playlist, uh, will TBD whether I play it to myself or uh, whether Clark wants to listen a bit, but we'll um, we'll go um, yeah, other two we got a uh, pre-workout power ballads, um, or we'll roll with um, Songs to crush your car to, yeah. which is a true story. Okay. Yes. Okay. I did crush my car. <laughs> a few different um, things I'll decide between whether I'll work out in. So I got the um, uh, one of the newer colorways of the race kit, yeah. courtesy of um, yeah, ASIC really Singapore. Nice. So yeah. thank you very much. What's the topic on? Ramones. Yeah, the Ramones. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Okay. Yeah, it's a um, rock band which I'm part of. Okay. <laughs> um, or we could go with the t-shirt, the um, the sex pistols. Um, <laughs> but I think I think we'll go with the uh, with the long sleeve this morning, and then when the uh, when the mist burns off, we'll go shirts off and um, try um, try get bronzed before Spain. <laughs> Is that the same thing when you're like at a train station and you're like, the train's coming in hot and you're like, <laughs> get a bit jumpy. <laughs> Oh, 800 is like kind of that perfect pre, pre race distance. It's like as soon as you feel the reps like about to be done, it's done. Yeah, it's yeah. like caves. Just over two minutes. Yeah. yeah. Do you like this one? Yeah. <laughs> I reckon I should tune you soon. I've done other words. Here's our strength. This is for tanning purposes only, I swear. <laughs> Take the most of it. Here, yeah, mate. Me and Super, super sun cautious, got three moles cut out last okay. summer. Oof. So, Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Two. Two. One. Stop. Three. Two. One. one. That's one? Game over. Yeah, game over. That <laughs> <laughs> um, no, was fun. It was cool. Yeah, yeah perfect morning. Yeah. It was um, it's good weather for it. Yeah, honestly. Yeah, yeah no, it's good rep distance. Were you even really paying attention to the pace? Right Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. I mean, okay. that's the thing, like, it's all just, um, yeah, pre race, just, yeah. just feeling good, you know what I mean? Like, you just want to stay in that, that sort of one down cruise control. Yeah. Um, zone out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can always zone out. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it's cool. What was the, I mean, people can follow on Strava, but what was the last hard effort before this? Uh, so, last hard effort before this, 12.7k 12 uh, 12 threshold, nice. 3 minute Ks last um, week with uh, Henry, Gricey, and um, Jack Rowe. Yep. Um, so, it's cool. You filming that one too? Yes, we did. Um, so you're basically doing a hard workout roughly every four days? Yeah, I mean post-marathon just didn't want to do a ton. Yeah. Um, doing a lot of jogging just because, um, I mean, even if you're feeling good, you know you've run, <laughs> not a marathon, but something that's almost like one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I couldn't tell you how fast you averaged then. I know it was faster than um, 253s because that's what my watch said, but I left my watch running for one of the, one of the recoveries too. <laughs> so, um, 
yeah, so it's probably like 250 or something, yeah. which is what the uh, 440 mile pace, which is what they said we're doing, maybe a little bit quicker. Yeah. I'll get jogging. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> We're in Valencia. We are. We're in a uh, lovely, wonderfully sunny Spain. It's, um, yeah, it's been fun so far. Got in late two nights ago. Um, jogged around yesterday. Went to the beach. Went for a swim. A few swims actually. Hotel's got a nice pool. So yeah, it's been it's been nice to just be able to chill out somewhere. Be in the sun. Get some vitamin D. Post um, post London. Been sort of living inside or living in a tracksuit. So um, yeah, it's nice to not have to wear many clothes. <laughs> How do you pull up from the workout on on, uh, on Tuesday? Just the eight hundred, all good. Yeah, pretty good. Got a um, got a long massage on um, when was that when Wednesday, which was which was nice. Sort of got everything flushed out. Yeah, so it's kind of situation normal pre race, which is which is good, but it's also kind of just the long wait now, which is it is what it is. And I guess it's good to feel ready. It's better to feel ready than sort of dread each day coming. Um, but yeah, so two jog, two easy jogs to go before before we roll around on Sunday, and yeah, so let's go. <laughs> so what's on today? Just uh, uh, how far just, we go? So I'll go 60. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was going to do strides. I think I'll do some tomorrow instead. Um, just, I mean, we'll see. I think Archie's only got sort of 35, 40 or something. Okay. So I mean, maybe a loop with him, and then I could finish on the treadmill, or finish somewhere else. But yeah. yeah. Tomorrow, the last uh, day before the race. We'll see how I'm feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Make yeah. Like I mean, I probably will. Probably will treadmill. Yeah. I think get out of the sun and okay. just keep it super controlled. Sweet. Let's hit the park. Yeah. Let's go. Think. So how are you feeling? Yeah. Good. I mean. Yeah. So the race plan at the moment. I think we're just gonna roll out with that. That group going sort of low 61, 61 mid. Yeah. We, we I mean, just ran past uh, Parker Stinson, who might be on, might be in that pack. Yeah, he might be. And we know that Jack Rowe is most likely going to be going for 61.30. Exactly. So there's, so there's a few guys around there. There is, and there's um, most of the guys going for the 61. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it'll be good. I mean, there's a bit of wriggle room there. And like, I think the nice thing with the half is it's like you can sort of feel yourself a little bit more with the marathon. Like, if you go a bit hard, it sort of bites you, but like, later. Yeah, at the end of the day, you're only running for an hour, so it's yeah. like, it's really not make or break. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to gas yourself yeah. running like 240 first K. Yeah. Um, and I think like, there'll be adrenaline and stuff. I think, so I think it'll be easy to go out hard, like, obviously not too hard, but I think sort of first three Ks will look after himself. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a fueling strategy or will you take anything during? It's always a good question for the half. I don't think I'm going to go anything during. I think, no. I think just do everything before. before I mean, like, we'll cover that uh, later on in the video. Yeah, but yeah, so we'll just stock up on everything before. But I think, um, yeah, I think for an hour, like, the body should be sweet. But I, mean, I don't know, there's not as much research on the half as the, in the full. Yeah. Okay. yeah. What are we doing? Swallowing my food. <laughs> um, just choosing what to jog in this morning. Filled up my bottle just with some um, with just some fuel. Just I want to make my sure if my carb just intake is good today. Um, running in a cotton shirt just because it's easy. Just makes makes you jog easy. Long tights just look after the legs. Um, Did you have your normal pre like pre race meal? Uh, I mean, somewhat. I had pizza last night, and then we'll get pasta tonight, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, the day before is kind of just going through the motions, which is... Yeah. I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's fun in a way. It's monotonous and, and hard in another way. But, um, Are you yeah. going to go to the treadmill for the last workout? Yeah, we're just going to... Yeah, the <laughs> last workout. How come you're running on the treadmill? Um, just because it's so controlled. Um, I, I like the treadmill. I, um... Got my headphones. There's a race briefing as well, so I'm gonna listen into that when that's on. But um, yeah, I did a ton of treadmill stuff last year. I didn't do that much before last year. Um, but I watched the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe on the treadmill, so I spent my fair share of time running on there. So yeah. Nice. And what is that suit in the background? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
my um, my nudie suit, which I had to get custom made. It's uh, Graham Parsons inspired. Um, Pants too. There's unreal. Yeah. After party? For my birthday. My birthday is on Monday. So. Oh wow. How old are you turning? Um, twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Salami running for? Um, TBD. We might go 50, but whatever's chill. 50 minutes? Day before. Okay. And what's yeah, the pace? Like slower than 6 minute pace. Really? Yeah. That's the thing, keep it short yeah. in terms of distance, but. minute barrier on the women's race. To achieve that, we will put the following pacemakers for the men. So first group will have three very strong pacemakers uh, going cruising at 244, 245 per kilometer. Expected time around 10 yeah. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> 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 uh, These are Isaac Kivet Ndiema, Hilary Chepkoin, and Bernard Yegon. You have in brackets the beam numbers for those athletes. We will still have a second group with the goal of breaking one hour, which uh, is a split of 250, 251 per kilometer. Those who want to break one hour, please follow him. Those athletes who might be in between, eh, because I know that there are some of you quite, who might be in between, you are not alone. You are quite a good number of you. So, suggestion. Start with the first group. Very soon you will find that you are creating your own group. I don't know. How much caffeine is in his 
about the sense of coffee. Yeah, yeah. It's good, tastes good. Lasts as long as you want. Don't complain. <laughs> Do you use them before or during the rest? Ah, uh, before. Sometimes for workouts. Very rarely for easy jogs. Just because it kind of looks cool if you chew gum over each other. Is my name, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, like every pre race feels the same. It's like you're about to exert yourself in quite an um, extreme way. Um, so hopefully, I feel good for as long as I can, and then when I'm, when I'm buckled, hopefully, it's okay from the finish. But yeah, I don't know. Send it. Coti, Kenzeno, la Keniana, lo hizo en Gista en 2022 y este mismo año. It's your personal best. So, welcome everybody because here you have the perfect and flat route for flying here in the city or running outlets in the city of Russia. Missing your heart, escucha tu alma, escucha tu corazón. Come on. 
Okay. I'll grab my, my rent's just gonna head off, I'll come back with you. It was hot. It was I mean the pace was hot. And it was hot. Nobody ran very quick. I mean everyone kinda of blew up, eh? Cause yeah, the paces at the very end were really slow. Yeah, because I mean the 60 minute group, most of them ran 61s and and then our group sort of like it was hard because we sort of went out of the back of the next group, which I didn't want to do, but it was kind of, um, I mean, I should have gone out more conservative. Uh, I mean, it's hard because it was kind of, those those guys, it's not like, um, it's not like the group ahead didn't blow up and it's not like the group behind didn't blow up as well. Oh, it's not like I didn't blow up either. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was tough. Like, I sort of sat on the back of Jack. Um, he, he was sort of 63. Uh, I mean Pietro from Asics like he was 60 something. Yeah, 60 30 which is kind of yeah. kind of wild but um but yeah, yeah some training down there in, uh, in Italy maybe. Yeah, I, was still, <laughs> I tell you what though like um, yeah, it's crazy just like the the level of of the race and the and the depth and stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean least no prisoners yeah, does it. Exactly. Uh, Could ever forget to the end, and it's still a very respected time. But I know I wasn't. Yeah, I mean it was crazy because like I sort of yeah, I was with with those guys with Jack and stuff. Um, uh, they sort of kicked on with uh, Ben Flanagan and, and those guys who it was sort of a uh, yeah 61. Um, and then I was on my own and sort of picked up by Callum Hawkins and then uh, ran the rest away with him and then we caught the group I was in anyway. They ran. <laughs> They ran 63 as well, so it's kind of um, yeah, it's carnage. But but I mean that's running and it's it's good experience and it's good um. I kind of hate that expression, good experience. <laughs> like that just sounds like an excuse. But I mean it's it's good um, it is good to be running uh, in a race like this and against solid guys. Um, uh, I mean I don't I don't think I'm far off, but I think I just gotta tweak a bit of stuff. Um, yeah, maybe freshen up as well.